And Jan Crawford is here with us, and so is CBS News Chief Election and Campaign Correspondent Robert Costa. Good to have both of you here for more context and analysis. So, Jan, this is not the end of this, right? Oh, no, it's not. I mean, he can ask the full Court of Appeals to reconsider this, or he can skip that step and just go straight to the Supreme Court. But having lost at every turn, I mean, I think that is a long shot. I don't see how he's going to get five votes from the Supreme Court if they decide to take up this case. And if they do, I still think we're looking at a trial possibly late spring or early summer. And so, Robert, how will this affect things on the campaign trail? Nora, in the short term, top Republicans tell me behind the scenes they do not expect Republican voters to suddenly go cold on Donald Trump. In fact, they expect his core supporters to rally behind him in South Carolina and on the Super Tuesday contest in early March. But in the longer term, there is growing alarm among some of my sources close to the Trump campaign that he will be in the courtroom as the campaign unfolds, should he be the nominee. And all of this could be a political burden to Republicans across the ballot in November. One reason Nikki Haley is vowing to stay in the fight. Robert Costa, Jan Crawford, thank you.